Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a horror film from the United States, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Jordan Graham, and this film is called Sator. So Sator is about a man who's living in the middle of the woods in a very rundown cabin, and we learn that he's out to prove the existence of Sator. Sator is an entity that preys upon suffering victims, and once their suffering is over, he will come to claim them. So this is what his grandmother and mother thought they believed in, because they suffered a lot themselves, but a lot of people believe that they were just mentally ill. So this man is trying to clear their name and actually prove that Sator is out there. He's suffered a lot himself and he believes that his suffering has come to a conclusion. Therefore, Sator is not far away. So he documents what's going on outside the cabin by cameras to the trees and he starts to feel a presence around him. And so the more evidence that suggests that Sator exists, the more this man starts to lose his mind. So whether or not he gets what he sets out for is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Sator. This has got to be one of the most nightmarish, off-putting horror films I've seen in a very long time. It's a low-budget horror film, it's a very minimalistic horror film, and that can work for it, but unfortunately it does work against it quite considerably, which is something I'll go into a little bit later, but I will say that there is a lot to love about Sator. If you are a fan of psychological horror films that have a deeper meaning, then this movie is definitely essential viewing. This is a film that I've felt isolated in, I've felt very unnerved, and I've felt very vulnerable. A lot of uh, films out there like to hold your hand and do document everything Everything that's going on and really dumb things down and the more you dumb something down the more control the viewer has and I know a lot of people like control but Sator will not give you any of that this has a lot of gray matter this has a lot of interpretation as to what this movie is about and the manifestation of everything that is going on it molds into the character of Sator is Sator just a paranormal entity or in fact is he a manifestation of stigma in everyday society in that the lack of understanding and the ignorance that has molded in a character that I thought never really presents itself therefore it's I always felt as though it was around me and so it's an incredibly creepy film and that's intensified through the absolutely fantastic cinematography as far as the beautiful woodlands are concerned there is a strong level of something is not right and that sense of isolation is intensified through that single character that the movie has for the majority of the runtime. This is a guy who's living on his own and after a while I started to feel as though that sense of isolation was very claustrophobic and you feel the sense of isolation as a viewer because I felt as though this was the existence of this main character is that nothing else was going on outside of these woods and so this is a universe of its own and that universe was slowly getting smaller and smaller and I could feel the air being sucked out of me as a viewer and so this is not something that happens very often as far as horror is concerned and it needs to be applauded every time it does and so Jordan Graham this is a very personal uh, film for him because I believe that some of the recordings in this movie although they were deeply haunting actually were real that they were real documentations and so I thought all right well there's a sense of personal sort of realism intertwined with that sense of paranormal entity and that paranormal entity is that symbolization that manifestation of something far greater and so I thought the level of interest as to what this director was trying to document I thought was the, the uh, another really drawing uh, factor in that you're trying to piece together what's going on and I just thought as though as the movie progresses it starts to get darker and darker and I feel as though I was going through a downward spiral into the world of insanity but was it insanity or in fact was uh, this actual the truth and so the truth and insanity there's a very fine line between that and you're never quite sure where the line is in this movie so you've got uh, a apart from the very creepy Blair Witch-esque uh, qualities as far as the woodlands are concerned. I thought some of the set pieces were fantastic. It relies on a lot of subtly, such as the sound effects, where there's something goes bump at night or there's a scream. I thought everything just uh, builds up into something that is so much more than just simple sort of qualities. But you've also got the documentation of the family life. And the family life takes a different approach. It's almost like a documentary in black and white. And I thought those interactions with the family were very creepy. There were some characters that had distorted voices that really sent me off guard. I thought, all right, well, this is a nightmare. This is something that I feel as though I don't want to be a part of, but I can't help but keep looking because the director actually gives you that interest because there's nothing spelled out. The curiosity levels are through the roof. And so you want to know the answers to the questions that are being posed. 
and that is why I wanted to actually wait this movie out till the very end. So I thought there were some moments that just really had me on edge. I thought this there was very unique in what it was actually trying to achieve, and that uh, the unknown presence of Sator. Was this, uh, as I said, a manifestation of psychology or in fact, was it a real present danger? And so not knowing what to brace yourself for, you don't really know where the threat is coming from. And so it just felt like a world where there were endless possibilities as far as evil was. So that was all absolutely fantastic. And so if you are a fan of low budget horror films that are very minimalistic, I thought the acting was very good. A lot of the movie, uh, it relied on the main character's body language. And so I thought the movie was telling a story through its body language. And so it didn't really need to talk as far as you knowing what this character was actually going through. And so it was a battlefield inside this guy's mind. And so as the family aspect of this movie comes into it, this is where the heartbreaking quality comes in. And this is a heartbreaking quality that will affect a lot of families out there. And so there's a lot of relatability within a very outlandish and sort of horrifying world and so you feel as though this is something or this is just part of a bigger picture but you're not quite sure what that bigger picture is and it will keep you guessing right up until the very end that is very thought-provoking but unfortunately it's getting up into the end that's the problem is that about halfway through I noticed that the movie didn't really have a lot uh, of, of content I thought as uh, this movie would have been a lot better as a short film as opposed to a, an 85 minute movie because it does have States Welcome, and I felt as though it was taking way too long to get to the point, and so it needed a lot uh, uh, more editing, but a lot more editing would have cut the film uh, quite uh, considerably, and therefore it wouldn't make that feature film, so I thought as though it needed to make that feature, so I was elongating certain scenes to, uh, where it got to the point where I was losing concentration. I felt I had to rewind quite a few times because my mind was wandering. And I thought that was down to the fact that, yes, it's creepy. Yes, uh, there was a lot of curiosity. But unfortunately, some of the scenes lingered on and on to a point where I just felt as though I was struggling to maintain my interest in the actual uh, specific situation that was happening in front of me. So by the time it finishes, I was more relieved that it had finished. Uh, as opposed to actually really getting into that thought-provoking quality. So the overall lag of the story, I thought it does play a negative effect as opposed to a, a positive one. Because I know that the, the director has a very strong purpose for this film existing, but unfortunately by the end of it, I just didn't really care as much as I did when I first got hooked on to what was going on. So it needed to be a short film. I thought it would have been a lot better. But pushing that aside, as far as low budget horror films are concerned, Sator was quite impressive. And as a result of that, I'm going to give this film three stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, thank you for watching movies. And I'll see you later. Bye.